Welcome along to Barley Spring, episode 22, Is Our Linseed Ready Yet? With me, this gaming man. Hello everyone, welcome back to Barley Spring. We are in the 1st of August. Ooh, some deer here. Um, yeah, we've got a few jobs to do today. Um, as from the thumbnail, is our linseed ready? Hmm. I'm not going to tell you right now. You might see it in the background, but... I've got a few jobs to do. One of the jobs we need to do anyway is our cows are running out of food down in the field. So we're going to hitch this up to the feed mixing wagon. I'm going to make a quick mix of food. Just hitch it up here, pull him forward. Turn that on. Uh, I think we're going to need the Merlot. Where the. Leave those there. I don't know where the front forks are. I'm not sure. Uh, da, 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 there they are. So, yeah, we're just going to do a quick mix. I think they've got about. 5,000 litres of food left, I think. Um, not a sight. Considering we put... I put about 100,000 in... Uh, not so long ago, so it seems to be munching away through that. Get some bales out. I think I'm just going to use some normal hay bales. All the bales are actually in, actually. I've collected everything up as well. Go with, go with four. Go with four of them for now. I'll whack four of those in. Let's not whack four of those in. Try again. Four. They should be there. Yep, yeah, lovely. Just unwrap them. Chuck them in. I don't think we'll get a full four in. Actually, we're going to need some hay, some hay, some um, some straw in there as well. I think. Hey, where are they gone? They just chuck themselves back in. That's a bit annoying. Okay. What if I pushed him forward slightly? I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Oops. Oh, they bloody got on that trailer. That's where they've gone. <laughs> I switched that off. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? I thought I put them out there. Like, Where's that gone? They've gone on the trailer. And now it's wedged between them. Lovely. I'll make the bales here. Reset position. Hopefully they should work now. So how much do we need in here? I think we need another hay bale, don't we? Another hay bale. I'm sure I switched that off into like transport position. Whoa, you stay there. Don't you fall over. Fell over. Just 
got him in. Let's uh, get some silage out as well. Two of them. Two of the straws out. How full this is? Seventy percent. So yeah. Must be trying to thought now. Whack another whack a straw in, I think. See where we're at. It's usually two and two and one. See what we can get away with. Two of the silage, two of the straw. No, two of the silage, two of the hay, one of the straw. bit of silage in there I think. Top it up. Down to the cattle field now, down to the cows. Probably could do with the top of the fuel actually. It's only like running on fumes by the looks of it. Oh, actually, I have actually uh, fed this. But the nitrogen level t disappeared. There wasn't a value for it. I've put some manure on it, but then the nitrogen value disappeared. It just didn't show. So, yeah, it needs topping up a bit, and also needs weeding by the looks of it. So we can probably catch on, ca get on with some spraying, and get rid of those weeds, really. I do like this uh, mod, the Keenan Food Mixer, I've said it before, I do like it. It needs to be a brand in Farming Simulator 25. That um, and McHale, great if they were brands in Farming Simulator. And Ford, be able to have Ford tractors and Ford vans and Ford. Um, pickups and stuff. Might be pretty cool. So open that up, fill that up. So yeah, we're just under four thousand actually. So it's going to help them out a bit. Hope everyone's keeping well. Um, just really busy at the moment in at home with little lad and taking him swimming and stuff. Actually, he went swimming two weeks ago and he didn't cry at all, which was amazing. And one of the babies that normally doesn't cry at all, he, I think he caught it, I think. I think he ended up crying throughout the whole of the swimming session, which is uh, not funny, but... It's kind of like, it's nice to know that it's not just us that have, that have all these problems. But yeah, he's doing well. He's keeping well, which is fantastic. Doing really well. Um, he's going to be it's five months this month, he will be. Which is crazy. I don't know where that time's gone. Um, I know one of the subscribers said to me, but enjoy it while you can because it just disappears and it does like five months is just yeah it's just gone nowhere really so like I say I hope everyone's keeping well the, the, the subscriber rate's gone up the subscriber rate the subscribers have gone up which is also 
great stuff. Just leave that there for now. Do another mix. Uh, turn on food mixer. Amazing. Cut him open. We don't actually own that trailer, actually, that lizard trailer, that's uh, the bale trailer. We've still got that, um, we're still hiring that. We we'll probably do with buying one at some point. We're buying like one of the, um, the proper load ones, like the auto load. That's that. I think we're about there, I think. but 1% try and get this round now this needs a bit of a fuel I have noticed there's a few nice things on at least a few nice shiny things on the uh, for sale at the moment in the old shop which should be tempting Very tempting indeed. Over the bridge. Yeah, I want to get some. Um, I wouldn't mind getting some. Um, some Jersey cows. Just a couple. We've got 50 cows now, which is amazing. We only started with about 20, 25, something like that. Pretty sure it's about 2025. 20, We've got 16,000 litres of milk, which needs to be sold at some point. But yeah, 50 cows. Some of these are new babies as well. In the last like month or two, um, that's a that's two months. Yeah. That's two months. We've got quite a few little two ones at the two month, but just ticked over. We've got loads of little goats as well, causing havoc. <laughs> they're cool. They're quite cool actually. Kind of looking forward to what the new farming simulators, what animals they're going to have. To be honest, it's going to be interesting. Got nearly 50,000 litres of food in there, won't they? So that'll do for now. That's plenty for them to keep going at. 49,000. That'll do. Oh, wrong one. Switch that off. So we've got a few little jobs to do. One of them's not trying to catch this on the bridge. Shut the gates with us, otherwise the cows might get it, get out. I'll do for now. So yeah, field that field needs to be uh, pre prepared next to us. The one on the left, the one that had the canola in. I'm not seeded or overseed not overseeded or um, put any fertilizer on it yet or anything it's just literally waiting to be prepped right, I'm pop this on the end there I think So yeah, we need to go and do some spraying. I don't know how much spray we've got. Uh, hopefully we've got enough, otherwise I'm going to be shooting up to the shop. Ooh. Yeah, 
should be enough, shouldn't it? I hope so. Not got the spot sprayed on this yet. Whoa, a bit of oversteer. Um, could do with probably getting something sorted out for that. We got loads of weeds on there. It's ridiculous. fence again right so yeah getting this done this needs doing like I say the alfalfa's doing really well quite impressed with that um, so we've had two crops of hay off of this so hopefully we'll get another one towards the end of the year fingers crossed and all that. But yeah, looking good. Looking good indeed. It's absolutely covered in weeds. Usually like with season with the um, precision farming you get spots, don't you? But this is absolutely covered. I don't think there's any point using a like a pre preventative type thing, like a weeder, should I say, not preventative, but as a preventative would be spraying beforehand. Oopsie. So yeah, so I'll carry on getting this done and we'll do a little bit of a time lapse. That's the alfalfa all sprayed off. So there's a couple of little bits, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. So let's go and find out if our linseed field is ready. Right, let's go and have a quick look, see if it's ready. Shop's still going well. Got a few eggs here as well. Um, still working our way through the produce I brought here last episode. And is it ready? Yes, it is ready. It's time to get on with some harvesting. Right, so let's head back. And we'll get the uh, combine harvester out, the header out, and everything. It's going to be a bit tricky to get in here because you'll have to wait. I've got crop destruction off, I think, actually. All right. You've got crop destruction off. So, it's not the most ideal thing to do. I know. The Dukes of Hazard had turned up. So yes, this is the first time we've harvested linseed on this map. Oh, 
where we're going to park this. Park it over here out of the way a little bit. Wrong side of the fence. Right. Let's crack on and get this harvested. It's only a little field. getting straw as well oh that's really good it's a little bonus there excellent I didn't think we we're going to get straw off of this the only time I've done linseed was on what was that on um, I did it, did it on Carms and Farms, and you didn't get you didn't get straw on that. So this is a nice welcome addition to the map. The straw. Missing bits. Look again. Right, so I'll carry on doing this, and we shall do a little bit of a time lapse. So this is the last bit of linseed we've got to harvest. I think we've done all right, not bad. I mean, I'm sure we've probably got closer to 10,000 if this yield was better. But I think this is only, because the soil's not particularly great, it's only running at about 80%, I think it was. I think it was, I'm sure it was. Pop this on the pop the header on the trailer, I think. While we're here. That about it. I think that's about it, isn't it? I think. We hope. Soon find out if it's not. Right, so we're just gonna get a trailer, I think, and empty this out. We need to use that as well. We need to use the separated manure as well. That needs to use. Yeah, we need to use this. Because um, that's another thing I've not used before. And we've got the bales to pick up on the grass field as well. down the road in that emptying you know, the field down here just over the fence needs 
needs weeding as well. Look, it's covered in weeds again. Same as the other one. That's still fermented. It's not fully fermented yet. That's annoying, isn't it? 98 and 99%. I'm sure by the end of today, that will be fermented. So much to do. Maybe we'll... So 6,679 litres of linseed. So let's have a look at what it looks like. So yeah, let's have a quick look at the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, let's have a quick look at the linseed in the back. It looks quite good actually. Can't really get into the back of that trailer, but yeah, it looks quite smart. So we'll take this back to... Back to the silo. I mean, look at that, it's two o'clock already. Time is cracking on. Don't think it's time to sell the linseed. Yeah, like I said earlier, that's quite smart, isn't it? The old um, New Holland. Um, yeah, I don't think it's time to sell the linseed quite yet because I don't know what the prices are like. Yeah, it's not the greatest at the moment. Probably, you know, probably at the lowest that it can go for. And what about the other crops that we've got? Yeah... That's not the best yet. It's getting there though. It's had a big, big uprise by the looks of it. I think once we get it to over a thousand pounds, I think we're, we're quids in with that. And it's only 25,000 litres, but it's better than no litres. And get some bailing done.
Now it looks like all the bales are all done then. So that's lovely jubilee. It's a little bit of straw here, isn't there? I can't pick that up. That wouldn't let me pick that up. Not Superman. So we're going to have a quick look over at the bales over here, see if these have been um, are fermenting. They seem to be. Sorry, this recording has been recorded slightly a little bit later because I had a load of people turn up. So sorry if things sound a little bit different. So yeah, some of these, are these all fermented now? These all look like they're fermented. Yeah. So these need all collecting. Which is great stuff. We can pop those into storage. These can be picked up off the field as well. Oh, that's already running. Take this back to the shed. I suppose we can go and start picking up the silage bales. So not sure what we're going to do with that grass field, if we're going to put another crop in it or what we're going to do at the moment. Still up in the air about it. We could put a crop in it, which would probably be the sensible thing to do after after we've had another crop of grass out of it, I guess. Plough it all up. Yeah, I could, we could do that. Seems like it's moved into the centre of the yard a bit. Let's give it a gentle push out the way. Oh yeah, this is trapped in around the... Uh, this is all moved over, hasn't it? People of nervous disposition, please look away now. The little nudge over, little tap tap a roo. That'll do us. So, silage at the moment isn't worth a massive amount of money, so it's probably worth just keeping hold of the bales getting them all in anyway stick them in storage for now I suppose get the weed sprayed as well I guess off of this field pick all these bales up lovely so I guess that's probably all we've got time for today please if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel it would help me out massively um, about 58% of our videos are being watched by people that aren't actually subscribed so if you subscribe to the channel that will help me out massively and if you're enjoying it Please don't forget to leave likes. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. You guys have been awesome. I've been this gaming man. And until the next time, we shall see you soon.